Good day everyone and welcome back sa mga gustong matuto pero maging mataya. Now, ang topic natin for today is extracting square roots. Basically, ito ay part ng inyong modules, particularly the quarter one, week one of your module. Now, ang gagawin natin ngayon med ay magsosolve lang tayo na magsosolve dito, class. And sana strong yung foundation nyo pagdating sa square roots. Medyo pagod na tayo, class, dahil... Dakdak ako ng dakdak. Dakdak ako ng dakdak. Dakdak ako ng dakdak. Tapos, hindi pala nakarecord, di ba? Nakarecord. <laughs> bad trip. Nakaka-bad trip talaga. So, let's now proceed. This method can be applied only if the quadratic equations is at the form of x squared is equal to k. Thus, the following properties are applied. Now, dito class, clarification muna. Si k, or kailangan daw ang uh, quadratic equation natin ay nasa form ng x squared is equal to k. Yan dapat lagi. Ang, um, kumbaga, uniform style tayo, dapat si k laging nasa kanan. Sir, ano po ba si k? Si k ay equal sa constant. Sir, ano naman po yung constant? Lalo lang ako nahirapan dyan eh. So, si constant class, ito yung number. Um, number na, like for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Kahit 1 million pa yan class. Basta walang variable na kasama. Now, sir, paano naman po yung negative number? Constant pa rin po ba yun? Yes, constant pa rin yun. Basta number class. Basta number siya, constant yun, considered. Now, the first part. If k is greater than 0, then x squared is equal to k has two real roots. Sir, basa po ba dyan, greater than? Yun ang maraming tanong ng iba. Medyo nakalimutan na natin kung ano ba si greater than at less than. By the way, kunin natin yung kaliwang kamay natin, ito, itaas natin. Hindi ko alam kung mirror type tong camera natin, pero kaliwang kamay, iganito mo lang. Now, pag nakaganito ka na, makikita mo dyan pa letter L. Pa letter L yan, yan si less than. And, syempre, yung isa, Common sense, di ba? Greater than yan. <laughs> so, if K is greater than 0, then X squared is equal to K has two real roots. Meaning, kapag greater than 0 daw si constant natin, meron daw tayong dalawang roots. Ano nga ba yung mga greater than 0? Ito si na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sir, paano naman po yung negative 1, negative 2? Greater than 0? Hindi. Kasi nandi dito si 0, di ba? Meaning, pag nagbibilang tayo, negative 1 sa left side, yung number line natin dati, class, nung grade 7 tayo. Now, Negative 1, 0. Lahat ng nasa right side ni 0 up to positive infinity ay merong 2 real roots. Paano naman ngayon kapag if k is equal to 0, then x squared is equal to k has 1 real root. Ibig sabihin, da, isa lang ang sagot natin, which is 0. Third one, if k is less than 0, then x squared is equal to k has no real roots. Meaning, Lahat daw nang nasa kaliwa ni 0 or less than kay 0, mer wala daw tayong roots dahil hindi tayo makakapag-evaluate ng merong negative na square root. Unless com nasa complex mat tayo, class. Pero hindi tayo nasa complex. So, ayun. Wala daw tayong roots kapag once na neg negative yung constant natin. Now, 2x squared minus 32 equals 0. Dito, class. Okay, dito muna tayo. x squared is equal to 36. Medyo pabalik tayo, ha? So, x squared is equal to 36. Nakaform na siya sa x squared is equal to k. Nakaform na siya dyan. So, ang gagawin na lang natin is struct natin yung x square root. Copy lang muna natin si x squared is equal to 36. Now, square root both sides. Square root, square root. Kasi, bak sir, bakit po nag-square root tayo? Dahil, ang main goal natin, class, 
yung x squared maging x. Maging x lang. Yan, ang main goal natin. Sir, ano po ba ang... Um, sir, ano po ba ang coefficient ni x? Di ba 1? Ano ba ang exponent ni x? 1. Meaning, 1x raised to the 1 power ang pinaka-main goal natin dito. Hindi 2x, hindi 3x, hindi 4x. Kundi yung value ni x, kahit wala na talaga siyang value para sa atin. <laughs> Kailangan natin pa rin natin. So, square root of x squared i, x. Square root of 36 i, positive and negative 6. Ayan. Sir, bakit po positive and negative 6? Dahil, square nag in square root natin si 36, kaya naging 6. And another trivia, dahil medyo marami nalilito dito, ito na pala yung pinakasagot class. Now, trivia, pag tinanong ko kayo, what is the square root of 36? Ang sagot nyo lang dapat sa akin ay 6. Pero dito, dapat ang sagot nyo sa akin ay positive and negative 6. Dahil, ito ay isang quadratic equation. Pag nag, um, pag nag, E-evaluate tayo ng quadratic equation, dapat may positive and negative 6 kapag may square root. Unlike dito, you just have to worry the positive solution. Next one. Dito class, again, ang first step natin ay going x squared is equal to k. Unlike dito, naka x squared is equal to k na siya agad. Ayan. Ano si k ulit? Yung 36. Naka-constant na siya. Now, dito x squared is equal to k. Para gawin natin yun, the first step is si negative 16, transpose natin sa right side. Copy the x squared, copy the equal sign, copy mo yung 9. From negative 16, magiging positive 16. Sir, bakit po naging positive 16? Dahil pag nag, once na nag-transpose tayo into the other side, yung symbol or yung sign pala nun, ay maiiba. Kung baga yung opposite sign, magiging ganun siya. Like for example, ito ay positive 16. Tra transpose natin sa right side. Ito ay magiging negative 16. But in this case, negative 16 siya. So, transpose sa right side, naging positive 16. Now, evaluate. Copy si x squared. Then 9 plus 16, 25. Nakaform na siya into x squared is equal to k, di ba? Kaya, the next step is going to be um, copy x squared is equal to 25. Then, uh, magmunig-munig na ulit tayo. Bakit inulit ko? Dapat ganun ang tanong natin sa sarili. Now, bakit inulit mo? Kasi ang main objective mo nga is makuha yung value ni x. Hindi 2x, hindi 3x, hindi x squared, hindi x cubed, kundi 1x or x na lang. To get that, Square root natin both sides. Square root of x squared i, x. Square root of 25, positive and negative 5. Ayan na yung pinakasagot natin class. Now, second to, the, second to the last na ata to class. Don't worry. 2x squared minus 32. 2x squared minus 32 i, gagawin muna natin into form of x squared is equal to k. Ano nga ulit yung constant natin dito? Yung 32. So, para maging x squared is equal to k siya, transpose negative 32 sa kabila. Then after nun, the first step is going to be 2x squared is equal to from negative 32, magiging positive 32. Then, naka x squared is equal to k na siya, class. So, Muni-muni na ulit tayo. Ano ang main goal ko nga ulit? Makuha yung value ni x. Hindi 2x, hindi 3x, hindi x squared, hindi x cubed. x lang. To get the x value, divide natin both sides by, paano ba natin gagawin 1 na lang tong si 2? Kunwari, si 2, gusto ko maging 1. i divide ko siya sa sarili niya. So, to get it, to get that, um, copy lang muna natin, 2x squared, Battery low, di ba? 2x squared. 2x squared is equal to 32. Now, 2x squared is equal to 32. All over 2. All over 2 lang pala. 
Over 2, over 2. Sir, bakit po kayo nag-over 2? Dahil, 2 kasi to class. Now, kung 100 to, yan, kung 100 yan, for example, 100 x squared is equal to 32. E di, over 100 parehas. Ganun lang. Now, since 2 ito, divide mo both sides by 2. Then, after nun, ano mangyayari? Ang mangyayari is, cancel natin si 2 yan. Cancel natin dahil 2 divided by 2 ay 1. So, ito ay magiging x squared na lang. x squared is equal to 32 divided by 2, 16. Sir, bakit po 32 divided by 2? Kasi naka-over 2, oh. Kap ang other na basa kasi dito sa class is, kunwari, 1 half, di ba? 1 divided by 2. Ganun yun. So, dito, 32 divided by 2, 16. Now, okay na tayo. Naka-form na tayo into x squared is equal to k. Ang gagawin natin ngayon ay, copy muna, x squared is equal to 16. Square root lang both sides. Square root of x squared, x. Square root of 16, positive and negative, or. Yan. X, 5x squared plus 15 equals 15. The first step is, i-form natin siya sa x squared is equal to k, di ba? Now, to form into x squared is equal to k, from positive 15 na constant, dalawa yung constant natin, pagsamahin natin sa isang side para ma-evaluate natin sila. So, the first step is 5x squared, copy. Copy si 15, eto yan. Then, from positive 15, magiging negative 15. Then, next one is 5x squared is equal to 0. Then, after that, ano nga ulit yung main goal natin? Um, gawin natin tong x. Hindi 2x, hindi 3x, hindi x squared, hindi x cubed. x lang. 1x raised to the 1 power or x. So, para maging x to, copy muna natin, 5x squared is equal to 0. Divide natin both sides by 5, para maging 1 si 5. Kasi ba diba, 5x squared, para maging 1 tong 5, divide mo by itself. So, 5 divided by 5, cancel. Is equal to x squared is equal to 0 divided by 5, 0. And the last remaining step is, naka-form na tayo ng x squared is equal to k. Ito yun. Na-form na natin siya into x squared is equal to k. So, ang gagawin natin is, copy, square root both sides. Yan. Square root of x squared ay x. Square root of 0, 0. Now, sir, yan na po ba ang sagot? Positive and negative zero po ba meron? Hindi. Hindi natin lalagyan nun. Dahil hindi naman positive si zero at hindi naman negative si zero. And kung mag-go back tayo sa kanina, yung sinabi ko na kapag si um, x squared daw ay equal sa zero, meron daw tayong one real root, which is x is equal to zero. Yun lamang class. So, pasensya na kung medyo um, sabaw tayo ngayon dahil pangatlong ulit na record na to Yung umpisa, hindi na record. Yung pangalawa, nalawat ang ating laptop. Now, maraming salamat sa panonood. At kung may tanong, um, i-message lang ako or mag-comment sa comment box natin. And good luck. <laughs>